नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू चैनल टर्निंग पॉइंट आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर राइट टुडेज वीडियो इज बाय द डिमांड ऑफ व्यूअर्स एज दे विश टू नो सर्टेन जर्नल्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ फार्मेसी सो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वेरियस जर्नल्स व्हिच आर स्कोपस इंडेक्स्ड और पबमेड इंडेक्स्ड इन द फील्ड ऑफ फार्मेसी मोर ओवर देयर रिव्यू टाइम इज वेरी लेस एंड ऑल ऑफ देम एग्जिबिट वेरी गुड इंपैक्ट फैक्टर देयरफॉर इफ यू सेंड योर पेपर इन दीस जर्नल्स देन इट कुड बी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर यू I used to post videos of various journals and how to do effective research on my channel. If you wish to go through those videos, then you can click on this playlist. So let's get started with pharmacy journals. The very first journal that I would like to discuss is Journal of Advanced Pharmacy Education and Research. This journal is Scopus indexed. If you go through the aims and scope of this journal, then it is an international double blind peer review journal published quarterly that means four issues per year it is a journal aiming to communicate high quality original work reviews short communications case reports also letter to editor that contribute significantly to further the scientific knowledge related to the field of pharmaceutical sciences articles with timely interest and newer research concepts will be given more preference so it is indexed in all of these databases you can check from here including scopus so you can go through this journal to get more insights as this is a very significant journal in the field of pharmacy the next journal that i would like to discuss is european journal of hospital pharmacy the scope of european journal of hospital pharmacy is broad and of interest to pharmacists and pharmaceutical scientists as well as related disciplines of specific relevance to hospital pharmacy the journal is of direct relevance to those involved in hospital pharmacy as well as those involved with academic research and if i go through the insights of this journal then its impact factor is 1.6 and acceptance rate is also very high that is 29% the time to first decision with review is 56 days that means it takes only 56 days or almost 2 months to give first decision about your paper including the review time so this is one of the significant journals in the field of pharmacy the next journal is drug development and industrial pharmacy and the publisher is taylor and francis the aim and scope of this journal is drug development and industrial pharmacy is a subscription based journal publishing novel original peer review research and review manuscripts related to pharmaceutical science research specifically in the field of nanomedicine formulation development and delivery technologies biopharmaceuticals new material development etc so you can go through these topics to know whether your area lies in these and it also provides you open access facility that means you can publish your paper either free of cost or by paying certain amount also This journal is also Scopus indexed. Next journal that I would like to discuss is Association of Biotechnology and Pharmacy. Current trends in biotechnology and pharmacy, and these are its ISSN numbers. The Association of Biotechnology and Pharmacy will be useful to form a forum for scientists so that they can bring together to discuss and find scientific solutions to the problem of society. Check out the previous papers by clicking over them, and these are the insights of this journal its impact factor is 0.059 and these are other insights of this journal you can go through them and uh, if you find it suitable then you can send your paper in this journal the next journal i would like to discuss is biomedical and biopharmaceutical research now if i click on home we can see that the scope of this journal that is it's a bilingual international health sciences publication open access and peer reviewed designed to promote innovation and progress in communities and to contribute to development through the sharing of knowledge its areas of interest are education behavior lifestyle and well-being food and nutrition sciences pharmacology therapeutics and pharmacology pharma technology physiology hygiene and health medicinal chemistry and natural products so its scope is quite wide and you can check you can check it and send your paper in this journal the sixth journal that i would like to discuss is pharmacy education 
It is a peer reviewed open access journal. The journal does not have article publishing charges or subscription fees. It is published by the International Pharmaceutical Federation and is aligned with the global mission of advancing education, practice, and science. The journal adheres to the principles of clinical and social pharmacy practice research as described in Granada statements. You can check this journal and if you find it suitable, you can send your paper in the pharmacy education journal. The seventh journal that I would like to tell you is International Journal of Pharmaceutical and Healthcare Marketing. This is published by Emerald. You can see the previous issues of this journal by clicking over them. And if you want to see the insights of this journal, then this is its ISSN number, copyright by Emerald Publishing, and it is open access and hybrid as well. Hybrid means uh, you can publish your paper free as well as by paying certain fees also. And the last journal that I would like to tell you is International Journal of Pharmacy Practice. And these are the insights of this journal. Its impact factor is 1.5 and it's five very impact factor is two. And uh, it is having open call for papers right now also, innovative methods for pharmacy practice and research climate, nature, and pollution crisis. You can go through this site to get more insight of this journal. These were eight journals in the field of pharmacy. If you find them suitable, then you can send your paper as per your choice. If you have any doubt or query or having any publication issues, then you can send me an email at this address. Please like, share, and subscribe the channel. Thank you, friends. Thank you so much.